and uh, I'll leave as is, uh, pops my file. Okay, so here on my main stage is my instance of movie clip, uh, my header one, inside of my header one, if I double click, uh, we see we go inside and here is my awesome face. Um, uh, bitmap, we've uh, added a um, color adjustment here um, to just kind of make it a little more visible. Uh, we would need to go back into Photoshop if we really wanted to do any serious retouching. Um, but here's my head on the stage and my head is going to be my bouncing ball. So, um, and then we're also cover here, uh, uh, again, that embedded animation. Um, so what the first thing I'm going to do is create my bouncing ball. So here is going to be uh, my first pose starting here at the top uh, of the bounce. Um, and so I will select my frame here on the timeline. Uh, sorry, hit F5 to expand my timeline, uh, which at this point has not added uh, a second keyframe. Um, so I will select my last keyframe, or my last frame, I'm sorry, and uh, add a keyframe. Uh, so I want uh, my head to bounce to go down uh, and then bounce back up. So right here, around here in the middle, I'm going to create another keyframe hitting F6. Um, select my noggin and shift drag down um, to where, you know, my ground plane would be. Um, so we'll say right about here and I'm holding shift just to kind of constrain my uh, in a straight line uh, so I don't get it off by too much. Um, so my head starts at the top, it's the bottom and bounces back up to the top. So uh, it's a process we're all kind of familiar with at this point. I'm going to right click, I'm going to uh, select my layer title over here, um, which allows me to select all of the frames on my layer, right click um, and create classic tween which creates classic tween on my entire layer. If I didn't want to do that, if I wanted to only create a classic tween on uh, the first part, uh, then I would just select that span, uh, any one frame within the span of these two keyframes, uh, right click, create classic tween, and that will create the classic tween just in that area. I, for whatever reason, I didn't want a, a classic or motion tween or anything here, I could do that. But in this case, uh, it's fine to create classic tween uh, throughout the whole timeline here. Uh, so here is the movement of my head dunk, uh, kind of a little bit of a pong thing going on here, um, which is fine uh, for now. But obviously, um, how we've covered in class as far as our timing, uh, we're going to use our eases. And so here we want to ease into the action. So we want um, our drawings or by uh, each frame, the drawing in each frame to be closer together here at the top, further apart here at the bottom to simulate accelerating um, and that conversion of that energy back up and then slowing uh, into this frame or easing out of the action. So I will select my classic tween span uh, on any frame here in between these two keyframes, um, which gives me my tweening label in the properties. And I will just drag my value to negative 100, uh, which gives me an ease in. So as you can see, um, my drawings are closer together at the top of uh, my stage. Um, and it accelerates to the bottom, hits the bottom. And so here I need to uh, scrub to give it an ease out. So now if I, uh, under my movie, you get this nice little, um, fairly believable bouncing effect of my awesome, awesome head. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is um, uh, select my layer. So I'm gonna select it here on the left side of my timeline by the layer name, which will select the my entire layer. And what I'm going to do is right click uh, on the layer and come to copy layers. Um, then I'm going to come to my library, create a new symbol, um, and I'll call head animation one and click OK. So uh, I'm inside my head animation one symbol. Uh, this is the head animation one timeline. Um, I will right click on my layer one here on the left of my timeline and click paste layers, which pastes my new layer. Um, this layer I don't have anything on, so I'm just going to trash it uh, and get rid of it. Um, so here's that animation inside the head anim, um, I'm sorry, head animation 01 symbol. Um, so I'm going to come back out onto my main stage, create uh, a new layer, delete my old layer, um, because I've embedded my animation now. I don't need it on the main timeline. I've embedded it into this symbol here. So I will drag that symbol from the library onto my stage. Um, however, if I scrub uh, or play through my timeline here, I don't see the animation updating because currently uh, this is considered to be a movie clip. So uh, if I wanted to be able to see what was going on inside, I could convert this here to a graphic. And now I will get a live update on my timeline. 
Um, so I'm not sure why it is like this, um, but for some reason my looping is defaulting to uh, starting at frame 21. So I'm going to start my uh, looping uh, at frame one. So I'll stop at the top, start, I'm sorry, at the top of my uh, arc. So here I can play through my timeline um, if I want to uh, loop it and then select marker range all so it'll loop the entire timeline. Um, here I can see my animation on my stage, which didn't loop at all, apparently. Well, that's really useless. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter, or control enter, create my Swift file, and here is my bouncing head inside my graphic symbol. Um, so similar to, and actually that's kind of slow, so I'm going to come inside my symbol and I'm just going to speed up my animation here uh, a little bit. Um, again, selecting not the frames, make sure I don't have uh, frames here selected, although I only have one layer, so it kind of doesn't matter, but if I select up here on the frame numbers, um, I don't have any specific layer selected, and it will. Um, I will hit Shift F5 to um, decrease the length of my timeline. Um, uh, so if I, um, let's see, my uh, length here is 33 frames, so I want my outer timeline to uh, match that, uh, and it tells me right here 33 frames. Uh, so I will select the rest of my timeline, hit Shift F5 to remove those frames. Actually went one too far, so I'm going to hit F5 to go back to 33, uh, and this should play. So that's a little nicer. Uh, a little quicker. Uh, so I'm going to then kind of extend my timeline uh, out even further. Um, and since this is set to loop, it will continue to loop. Um, but I am getting that problem that we saw before. Um, it's barely noticeable. Uh, however, my um, my first and last frame here are, are going to be repeating in the loop. So one way to fix that is um, with motion tweens, shape tweens, this is a little trickier, but with motion tweens uh, or classic tweens, all I really need to do is select this previous keyframe um, uh, the, I'm sorry, frame right before the last keyframe, hit F6 to create a new keyframe, select my last, the last keyframe and hit Shift F5 to remove that frame entirely. And now this frame is, uh, the position 